Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? Dave back again and today um, I'm actually going to go over. I got some things in from Japan. I love stuff from Japan. Um, and uh, thank you for the guys to the guys when the shout out uh, for some help of pointing me into uh, the place that I shop a lot um, being hobby search to get the file I was looking for um, because me being a dumbass uh, when I was looking at their page underneath the pricing and the the quantity it has um, uh, I thought it was for um, like pre-orders or it's on back order and how many people have requested it um, but it's actually the wish list which I've never paid attention to because I never put anything in my wish list um, so thank you guys for pointing that out um, I think I got the last one of these because uh, a friend of mine turned around and tried to order one himself and they were sold out so sorry dude um, I'm more than happy to send it to you for you to try um, but this actually intrigued me um, I think I saw a uh, a posting somewhere on it and then I'm always looking for quality tools now when I do my uh, series on tools and how to's and all of that I will cover the different types of files and sanding sticks and and all that other kind of stuff um, but I am always looking for uh, quality tools um, basically that will last, last a lifetime um, if you had kids or whatever it would be passed down to them um, <clears throat> something that's going to last something that is your go-to like you go out of town or you go to a show or so forth and you reach on the desk this is going to be the first thing that you end up grabbing and I do have some of those um, and I think I just added another one to that pile now this is the Giza uh, master hype it's called hyperfile um, and this is done by a company I believe Alec um, they may just be the distributor um, but Giza is the producer or maker of it uh, if I'm correct on that I'm not sure because most everything is in Japanese and I cannot read it damn it um, now this is not uh, this is not cheap um, these were cheap I think it was like $20 maybe less for the Tamiya basic file set which I love um, these are great for heavy filing I use it for all my resin things like that um, these are great this has been my go-to for several years for um, doing nubs things like that uh, it's an old jewelers file I've broken it off a couple times being a being dumb and using it to pry something usually not hobby related um, and then I have this one which is sort of okay um, this is a Tamiya diamond file this is a 400 grit um, and the only reason I'm showing these is this is about the equivalent of I want to say running my finger across it 600 maybe maybe higher grit um, and it does a great job I've already tested it on a couple of pieces um, it is a lightweight metal but it is um, uh, you know magnets can stick to it now they advertise this as being a non clog uh, mainly because it's so shallow uh, but a non clogging file with uh, some special coating on it um, the handles are actual wood um, I don't know if they're teak wood or what they are but they um, they almost have like a 3d effect with the way that they are um, but they are done by hand uh, sanded and stained um, which told me off the bat that this was going to be be an awesome tool to have um, you know any company that ends up putting that kind of effort compared to something like this where it's just a dipped plastic handle um, you know they they get my support um, now getting back to the price again it is not cheap um, this is going to run you around uh, 50 US dollars yen to US dollar uh, I think I got this from hobby search it ended up with EMS shipping being 51 52 so it ended up being 
about forty forty one dollars um, with the conversion rate um, but and I know a lot of people are like oh my god you spent how much on a freaking file let me say this if you have quality tools um, that you can use anytime and will last you for a lifetime this will outlast you no matter how many kits that you have in your backlog okay save yourself three high grade kits order yourself some decent tools um, and uh, this is going to be a partial rant I don't mean to but you know I see people wanting to know why their kits aren't turning out right turning out good they have gouges they have things like that because they're using dollar store nail clippers um, and you know who knows what for for trimming up their kits for doing whatever um, if you want to have a good kit just save up the money spend for some good tools they don't have to be you don't have to rush out and buy a $50 file you don't have to um, you know you can start off with something like this that I got at hardware store came in a set of I don't know like six different shapes the only one that I end up using is this flat one and you can start out with something like that uh, it was like honestly probably nine bucks for the set of six has lasted me years it will last me years more um, but I decided I wanted to upgrade um, you know so spend the money guys um, don't be cheap asses so um, getting on to it we got the front of the packaging for those that you of you that can read Japanese good for you um, um, now they are calling this their their pro series there is a round one and I will probably be ordering that after seeing this um, not that I need a round file that much but I want it and that's all that matters um, let's see here yeah down here hobby shop Alec um, now I did uh, let's see Platts hobby I don't understand because there's a lot of different things so you might be able to find it down here too or find a distributor wherever you are in the world of Platts uh, Platts hobby dot com um, but like I said I'll throw a link uh, to where I ended up getting this one uh, down at hobby search um, and hopefully they'll get some more in shortly um, and let's see here this is the AL dash K 13 is the model number on it <clears throat> now this is only for plastic ABS um, styrene things like that uh, you will ruin it if you try filing um, brass metal uh, anything like that so keep that in mind too this is not your grab and go for stuff like that it is smooth on this side um, same texture uh, or filing texture that is on both sides and then also on this one side uh, like you would with a normal file something like this so let us zoom 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 okay so let's see uh, get enough light there da, 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 da. How, clo how close can I get it alright so you guys can see you can see the green of the metal but you can see how fine that is and it's almost like a mesh um, and I did see a picture of how these are done or how the mesh is under microscope style and it's almost like a thatch so instead of let's take this one this one you can see how big the teeth are on there compared to that yeah big difference um, here is even the the diamond grit now diamond files are great but I find they just they, 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 they're too rough like they're rough I know some girls like it rough but not my kids they like it gentle and like yeah anyway so um, 
but that is going that is my overview on the Giza uh, master hyper file I know a couple people asked me for it um, I hope you guys enjoyed this check out the link keep your eye on it if you can afford it snag one um, and uh, invest in tools guys um, I do have another video coming up here probably right after this one and that's going to be for a camphering tool um, which I am super stoked about which is by the same company imagine that um, alright so I will be back peace